All right. So in this one, in this video, I'm going to teach you about degrees of polynomials, including degrees of monomials, because that's an important first step, and then also about the leading coefficient. All right. Now, if we have time, we'll look at standard notation as well. So let's go ahead and start with that. Degree of a monomial. The degree of a monomial is defined as being the sum of the exponents of the variables. Now, in the last video, we talked about what a monomial is, right? And we talked about polynomials and how we get individual monomials that are separated by a plus or minus. Now, the degree is going to be looking at specifically the exponents, but only the exponents of the variables. Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples. Here's the first one, 5. Are there any variables? No. Therefore, the exponents would have to be 0. Now, since the exponents of the variables is 0, that makes this a 0 degree or 0th degree monomial. Easy enough. How about this one? x to the third. We've got the sum of the exponents of the variables again. Now, in this case, the variable x has an exponent of 3. So that means that this is a third degree monomial. All right, here we go. Next up, we've got 3x squared y. So again, look at the exponents of the variables. The 3 has an exponent. It's a 1, but that's not a variable. So we don't need to pay attention to that one for now. x is squared, so there's a 2. And then y is to the first power. OK, so 2 plus 1 is 3. So this is another third degree monomial. Easy enough. How about this one? You better not say negative 6. Why? Because this is not a monomial. It's not a monomial, right? Because it has a negative exponent. And a negative exponent is not a whole number. And if it's not a whole number, then this is actually not a monomial at all. Oh, Mitavawari, you're so tricky. That's right. All right, on to the next one. Negative 3xth. Note that the exponent of the x is 1. The exponent of the t is 1. The exponent of the h is 1. The degree of this monomial is 3. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Remember, we don't have to pay attention to the number. And it is a monomial because all the exponents are whole numbers, 1, 1, and 1. So this is a third degree monomial. Next, x to the third, y squared. Add the exponents together. 3 plus 2 is 5. This is a fifth degree monomial. Now let's go on to polynomials. Now polynomial is very easy because all we're going to do is we're going to look at each of the monomials inside of that polynomial, and then we're going to say what is the degree of that highest degree monomial. That would then be the degree of the polynomial. Okay, we'll look at a couple of examples. The other thing I want to throw in right now is the leading coefficient. Now, the leading coefficient is the constant or the number that's in front of that highest degree monomial. Okay, So the highest degree monomial is important for two reasons. Number one, it tells us the degree of the polynomial. Number two, it tells us the leading or the coefficient that's in front. Okay, So here we go. 5. Well, we talked about this before. It's a monomial. It's a 0 degree monomial. So it's a zero degree monomial. That's the highest degree monomial in this polynomial. So this polynomial is a zero degree. What is the leading coefficient? Well, it's the five. It's the only coefficient. OK, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Here we go, x to the third plus 3x squared. So we look at the individual monomials. This monomial is a third degree monomial. This is a second degree monomial. So the highest degree monomial was? The third. So this is a third degree polynomial. And the leading coefficient is the number, the coefficient that's in front of the third degree monomial, which is 1. So it has a leading coefficient of 1, a degree of x to the third, which is a third degree polynomial. All right, here's another one. I'm going to try to be a little bit tricky here. OK, what's the degree of this polynomial? Well. The 3 is a monomial with a degree of 0. The x squared has a degree of 2. The y has a degree of 1. Remember, monomials are separated by plus and minus. So I've got this is a trinomial. But the highest degree monomial is a second degree monomial, which we call a quadratic. 
Okay. Now, because that is the highest degree monomial, that makes this a second degree polynomial. And a second degree polynomial with a leading coefficient of 1, because that's the coefficient of the highest degree monomial. Okay, here we go. Let's look at another one. Don't think too much on this one. You're right, it's not a polynomial, is it? Because none of these are monomials. If one of them was not, this would not be a polynomial. A polynomial has to be only monomials. These all have negative, which is not whole number exponents, therefore not a polynomial. All right, last one. All right, so on this one, you've got a second degree polynomial here, right? The variable has a two, sorry, monomial. This is a first degree monomial. This is a zero degree monomial. And when we put those together, we end up with a second degree polynomial because that is the highest degree monomial. So second degree, this is a second degree polynomial with a leading coefficient of negative three. All right, I hope that simplified things for you and look at the next video.